you are the Lord.
we are not gathered here to mourn a young child, but we are gathered here to testify of God's true goodness in the life of our father, our grandfather. We bless the name of the Lord in his life. And so we are not here to mourn, but rather we are here to celebrate. I want to open up your heart and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Open up your hand and wave your hands to the Lord and worship his majesty. As old as you are, you can never change. Ancient of days, ancient of days, as old as you are. As old Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to take your mind away from whatever is happening around you and focus your mind on God and bless for the Lord this evening. Hey. 
a cole da duro. Bogbe oga, Bogbe oga o. I want you to shake your body for the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hand. Move your body. Hey. Now so so one. take us in the first hymn, we all rise on our feet. The second hymn will be taken while seated. So to take us in the first hymn, let's appreciate the grace of God in life of our brother, Brother Demola Makinde. Shall we put our hands together for the Almighty God? Hallelujah. Let's appreciate God, brethren.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. As we are all standing, we are taking the first hymn. Abide with me. Choir. Ah. Uh -huh. 
of God keep us and enable us to abide with him in every situation we find ourselves in Jesus name. To take us in the second hymn, why seated, is Sister Sandra Princewell. Shall we welcome her? Praise the Lord. Our second hymn says, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Choir. sorrows, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many, pro many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the law of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, 
the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Then let, then let them which be in Judea flee unto the mountains. Let them which is on the house top not come down to take anything out of, the, out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the, since the beginning of the world, to the time no nor ever shall be. The last verse. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But, the elect, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word to our comfort. Thank you very much. Shall we rise on our feet as we take the third hymn, Through the Love of Christ our Savior? Shall we rise? Jesus 
the Lord that will make all to be well with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's be seated as we take the second Bible reading. Shall we have Stabiodun Shuremeku? The second Bible reading is taken from the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. Hear the word of the Lord. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travel upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Thanks be to God for the reading of his word. Praise the Lord. So I want us to shout a wonderful hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, my brother Yalia said that we are not here to mourn. We are to celebrate. And so, please, let's not make this place look like a burial ground. Let's make it look like a sanctuary of God. So one more time, I'm going to call on you to shout a wonderful hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. So going forward, I want to assume that we will take it like that and make it a, a lot more lively here. The Lord will bless every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. I thought I would hear a better amen. amen. Hallelujah. Okay, to the, we're going to the fourth hymn. And um, I really want to talk about that. And that's, um, oh God, our help in ages past. Oh God, our help in ages past. And we shall be taking that standing. Okay, sitting. I understand. So we'll be sitting down to take that one. Choir. Your saints have dwelt 
the name of the Lord. All right. Thank you very much. To take us um, in the third Bible reading is a pastor, Pastor Bola de Shuremeko. Please let's welcome him, Pastor Bola de Shuremeko. Can we put hands together as we welcome Pastor Bola de Shuremeko? Praise the living Jesus. And he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruit and yielded a fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Amen. And he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See, thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And he said unto me, Seal not the, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is hand is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am of Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and warmongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that at thirst come, and whosoever will, will, let him take the water of life freely. That's verse. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that writing 
that are written in this book. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are clapping, please let's clap very well. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Right now, we're going to um, take a little step back from the um, Bible readings and the songs. And we want to take um, live testimonies about um, our daddy, late engineer Babatsunde Oluyemi Shuremeko. Um, I'm sure that a good number of us here are very familiar with him. Um, some of us have lived with him. Some of, some of us seated here grew up with him, you know. And some, of course, are family members here. And some went to the same church. And I'm sure some other people here probably also worked with him um, when he was working. So at this point in time, we'd like to take some testimonies. But please, if you're coming for a testimony, kindly make it very short. We just want to, you know, know what your relationship um, was with him and um, what, you know, you observed um, during your relationship with him. He has gone to rest now, and, um, but the good things that he did, you know, will continue to live behind, behind him. Okay. I'm told that um, there is a list of people already. Okay. So, to come that, and anchor this part, um, since we have a list of people to, to do this, praise the name of the Lord. Mr. Ruti Mishore Mekun. Please, let's welcome him. All right. You're going to do me a favor. Please put your hands together and just welcome him. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Um, good evening. We are trying to do this in a format, and I would um, quickly uh, call uh, some of his classmates and his uh, housemates at Government College Ibadan. The house is called Swastin House. I guess they have a song for us. So I'll be calling the members of Swastin House and his classmates, uh, including uh, Uncle Kaya de Shure Mekun, they'll be the first to give us the house song and to uh, say one or two things about him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I have not been able to look around to see if uh, Swansea House boys are here already. Uh, but if you are a Swansea House boy, please join me here. We'd like to render the house song um, the last time um, before we say bye-bye to Boda today. Um, Bolade, please join me. Um, ah, yes. Mondele, please come. Um, well, it seems only three of us. I'm sure the others are online trying to uh, see what we're going to do. Um, Interestingly, this is uh, one of my big brother's uh, very close classmates. He's still going to spend some time to talk to us. Um, we all attended Swanson House, but Atunde being the uh, head of the boys in the family, he took us all into government college, and we all resided in Swanson House. So as much as we can with our voices, please, if the voice... Um, um, decibels are going up and down. Just follow the words. The words are f wonderful, and they represent part of the, part of those words represent very well what my brother did, what he came to do, and what he did without any remorse. Oh, Swanstein House, the call, the call has come to you. To do your best To help this world along To be like him Who 
tribulations before you and died without the consciousness of wrong. But do not wait for idleness to enjoy you. Get up and walk now that you've work to do. And when you win, be not proud nor conceited, but rest content with work well done. O oh, swan, stay out. Thank you very much. Try, think about it. Replace swan sin out with tunde. O oh, baba tunde. And everything that is in this song applies to my brother. May his soul rest in peace. Lord, I will quickly call uh, one of his friends. Um, we're actually expecting two of them, and I understand that what they wanted to say about him, they had actually prepared it and uh, passed it around. So um, it will either be Dr. Oshimika or Dr. Delema Konjola that will read this for us. Uh, one of his very good friends at Government College, Dr. Oshimika Ibaransa. Please, let's put our hands together for him. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Uh, we were classmates of Tunde at Government College Ibadan. In fact, I was expecting somebody will call the rest of us to join the Swassin House boys to sing their song because we all know that song. I think the song could easily be said to be the best of the house song in the school. I thought they were going to project the wordings. You will have agreed with me. Now, this is a tribute prepared by Tunde's classmates. The government college about the old boys as 1965 to 71. And I think most of you have it with you. And the title is Tunde gently went into that good night. I read. 1952 was the year the sun rose over Tunde's life. Whether this occurrence took place at night or during the day, we, his schoolmates, were not privileged to know. However, what we do know is that when Tunde Shoremeku took the final bow some 70 years later, we were gently reminded that even the most beautiful of days or trying times must eventually have their sunset. Now that Tunde's evening has come and we have been afforded a few days to somewhat come to terms with the reality of his irreplaceable absence, it is only wise that we look back. Indeed, now is the time when we begin traveling down the memory lane, taking stock, and reliving our GCI days together, recount occasional interactions as we waded through adulthood, celebrate our professional attainments, exchange our family experiences, 
and soberly narrate painful challenges of life. In doing this foregoing, it is hoped that the accompanying lessons will shape the impending twilight of our sojourn here on earth. But alas, Tunde and many others in very recent past unceremoniously left the arena of life. The French say, to part is to die a little. The inevitable has happened. Tunde has left us, it's no more, and has parted ways with us. In some ways, we all got diminished by his living. That is, we died a little. It was David that said, I will go to him, but he will not return to me. Tunde has gone ahead of us, and we shall haltingly move in the same direction. Our prayer is that Ojoa Gino Sira. As the news of his demise broke, one of us lamented that Tunde has gone to rest. Truly, he has taken a rest pending the arrival of the new Jerusalem. It is painful to bear, but we take solace in Christ in hope. Sohe, as he was fondly called by all, was the first of the three Shuremekuns that schooled with us during our time in Government College Ibadan this year. He was a tall, slim, happy, easygoing. In fact, when we were in school, if there were some arguments and they were getting too heated up. Tunde had a very popular phrase. He would just take a step back and say, Ma flush me. That is, <laughs> let your uh, saliva stay far from me. He was well loved and admired by his unwavering commitment to hard work. He was one of the boys from Lagos. He was not only very studious, he loved books. And to his credit, the passion translated to being among the best academic achievers of the school. Through his excellent academic performances, he ended up in the UK where he attended some of the best universities to earn degrees in chemical engineering. On his return to Nigeria, he worked in the oil and gas industry for a number of years. His co-workers attested to his brilliant performance in service. Down the years, he encountered some life debilitating challenges, which eventually led to his relocation to the United States of America. There was an aspect of Tunis' life that must have given him a lot of satisfaction. He was married to a loving, caring wife, Yinka, and dignified children that surrounded his table. Thank you. He used to fondly refer to his nuclear family as his life support. You all thankfully gave him, gave him flowers while he could still smell the roses. Though gone, the lovely memories of him as a loving husband, father, and family man, we believe, will lighten your hearts. In spite of the travels of life, he had to bear in his latter years many virtues survived him. The good Lord, who has promised not to forsake his own, will shepherd the family into the future, even in the absence of your Tunde. 
We commiserate with the two siblings who followed him to GCI, Kayode and Bolade. As you and other siblings carry on the Shora Mekun flag, remain blessed. Tunde lived a principled and courageous life. You cannot do less. Now that Tunde belongs to the ages, let us all say good night. Adieu to a wealthy friend and colleague. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I will quickly call uh, Pastor Bola Deshuremekun to come and say something about him. While he's coming, please, uh, any of his friends, we know that he cherishes his friends very well. We have two or three more people to talk. So we are looking at somebody from the friends, somebody from the family, and then the, lastly, the daughter will speak to us. So Uncle Bola De, you are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Even though we are sending off our brother, our uncle, and our friends, there are some light things I would like to talk about in our growing up, about the Shoremeku family as a whole. It's not something I prepared. It's just something that came to me while I was sitting down. And I feel it's important to also talk about it because it was a major part of it. Our uncle was the bishop of Methodist Church for many years, Reverend J.O.E. Shuremeku. That's the Methodist Church I attended some time ago. And when I introduced myself, people were all around me greeting me. And I felt very good to be there. My father had a Toyota caravan and he insisted on us going to church together. The ones that were older, my sister, Sister Ronke, God bless her soul, will sit in front. Oh, sorry, will sit in the middle. My mom will be in front. And those of us that were youngest will sit in the boot. We take any mat and put it in the boot. Myself, Shotayo, I think uh, S. Baba was there too. We sit in the boot, and my father will take us all to church. No excuses about going to church. We all grew up in a Christian family, being Method, Methodist. Our father denied himself so much. He denied himself with the good things of life, just so that every one of us can have good education. He had a very close friend. Before I go there, my father also had the gift of building houses. He would build for himself, praise the Lord, and he would build for other people. As by Banubiso, he will build for himself, he will build for other people. They will not pay him for building for other people. So much that a close friend, very close friend, I will not mention his name, said my father was building houses all over the place like a bird. But that is what he loved to do. And those houses still remain, most of those houses still remain until today. But today, as we heard, was in Swanson House. When I get into trouble, or when I finish my food and uh, snacks and everything, I go and meet him in his in his um, in his room. I will bring out his food, his biscuits, and things I brought from home. I will give him part of it, and I go back to where I am. Very soon, I'll go back to him again. And he kept on doing that thing. He, was, he just was very, very kind-hearted. 
And when I upset him and he wants to punish me, he may give me a few slaps in the back. He said, eh, eh, you want to prove tough? You want to prove tough? You want to prove tough? Me? And at that I used to wonder, what does he mean by prove tough, prove tough, prove tough? But with the blows I was getting, very quickly, I remembered those things he was saying. When Bros. Tunde was in the U.S., when he first of all was there, I was in New York, and I was doing my MBA. And I would find time to go and see him. And basically, he would receive me, or spend time there, and then I'd go back to where I was coming from. He's somebody that is so gentle and so loving you couldn't expect any bad thing from him or any negative from him. But today is gone now. And one day God will call every single one of us. We stand before the great throne room. And God will show us the things we did when we walked on this life. Brothers and sisters, there's nothing that we are doing that's going to be hid. Everything is going to come out plainly. So it's very important that we live the life that is going to be pleasing to God. Brosty lived a life that was pleasing to God. And my prayer is that his children and grandchildren will continue in the same vein. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, everybody. Praise the Lord. Um, my name is Mrs. Sushimaja. I'm from Benue State. I, uh, I've been staying with um, Mrs. Azan. And when and um, but I came, um, but Atune got married to my auntie, Auntie Inka. I was the one that took care of um, these girls, the three girls, Lola De, Ayo, and Ibuku. So when I started, when I got married, Uncle Inka told him, my, but Uncle today told me that, Buki, make sure your children go to good school. They should be educated, not that they should just go to any school. Make sure they are well educated. So, I just believe that Uncle Tune was somebody that loves education. And he doesn't separate the children from me. Even when my auntie wants to beat me, he say, Fille, Omodeni. So, he was a loving and caring person, a quiet person. He doesn't talk much. He wants peace to reign anywhere he is. So, and I believe that where he is right now, he's resting in the bosom of the Lord. And I pray that God will continue to protect the children and the grandchildren and the wife and my auntie, Auntie Inka, in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Lastly, I understand somebody from Ikotun, the church where Uncle Tude used to attend in Ikotun wants to say something. Please, can you come out quickly? from Ikotun. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay. Well, um, I knew um, that the Shuremekun, when I moved some years ago to Ikotun, um, very close to where I lived then, and we attended the same church. Of course, I uh, I know every member of the family. Um, time will not permit me to say or to talk about everything that I observed about him. But one thing I know is that, I mean, is that um, he was such a loving man. Um, very gentle. 
very passionate again, as uh, sister said, about education. And then there is something about him that struck me. I didn't get to know. I know that, I mean, I knew uh, that he, he was an engineer, but I didn't know from where he graduated until he was celebrating his 60th birthday. And then one of his brothers, probably the pastor, I don't know now who did that, who mentioned it, who was talking passionately about his brother and mentioned that, oh, he went to Imperial College. And I said, wow. He attended one of the best universities in the world. I mean, attending Imperial College should be a dream to any, anybody, particularly anyone like me who also had passion or has passion for education. And I was struck by the humility, um, you know, about the, he never mentioned anything about, you know, his academic achievements. He never showed it. He meant good with everybody. So kind hearted and um, um, he was a giver. And always very quiet about his giving. Such an example of, you know, who a Christian should be. So, um, you know, like I said, um, time would not permit me to talk about all the things that I knew, um, I, I knew about him when, I, when, when, when we had, um, when we lived, you know, and attended the same church. But I know that even when he moved to the U.S., um, it would have also impacted his um, environment positively. And there is something that he did, you know, because he also was someone who cherished relationship. Because I was very close to him, I was um, um, also I was also the um, f house fellowship leader in his house. So we, you know, we got talking, you know, most times when everyone had gone, we sit back and talk and, you know, share experience from him. To the extent that when he had moved to the U.S., um, he still remembered to send me some, I mean, to send me gifts. Even after he had gone to the U.S., mommy was coming one time and he sent some things to me, you know, in a way to just show that he cherished that, you know, relationship that we had. And um, so, it's, it's, it's gone now. It's painful that he's gone, but I know that he's in a better place. And that's why I said to us earlier on, that we should not, you know, um, we should not weep. He has gone the way of every mortal. And um, as we all know, at some point, each of us will also exit this world. But what will people see about us? And that's the most important thing. And I pray that um, the good name that he left uh, will be continued by members of the family in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that also the children that he left behind and his wife will continue to find favor. And the pastor said that he went to a place where his uncle had uh, once been, you know, bishop. And of course, because of the good name that the uncle left behind, he was celebrated. I pray that the children, because of the good work their father did, I mean, um, did while he was here, uh, will be favored in all their engagements and endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus. I thought you would say better amen. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Uh, lastly, I would like to call the daughter. I want to say thank you for all the kind words. Um, for me, it's not a day of many words. Um, my mom, my sister.
my mom, my sisters and I have come to say thank you to God today. Um, if we wanted to give God's life a motto, it would have been keep it simple. He lived a simple life. He loved his family, his friends and those around him. My sisters and I will particularly fondly remember um, the last few weeks we spent with fondness with daddy where we shared the word of God with him and prayers. For us, we say that Jesus gives life a meaning. And um, I just want to leave us with this scripture that many of us may be familiar with. It says, Oh Lord, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. We know that daddy has gone. He has gone the way of all the earth. And actually we are all in line. And um, we pray. We pray that every single day that God gives us the opportunity to live we will make it count for eternity because that is what really, really matters. Um, after my dad passed, I was looking through some of his things. I looked at his certificates. I looked at every good thing that he has done. Um, but he has had to leave all of them behind and um, go to his maker. One day it will be our turn. And I pray that on that day we will be able to stand boldly before him to say that we have lived as he had um, wanted us to live. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together, please. Praise the Lord. That was a very emotional one, and um, you can expect that. Amen. Praise the Lord. I said my prayer is that the Lord will continue to comfort, to console um, the family. Sometimes a light surprises. No 
wine and fig tree nade. Yeah, yes, the fruit should be to all the future reader. No flocks, no heads begin. Yet God, the same abiding, true praise shall you hear voice. For why in finding I can not but rejoice. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, God bless you in Jesus' name. Right. Um, right now we are going to listen to the word of God very briefly. And to lead us um, in that is none other than our pastor, Pastor Ezekiel Emiola. Please, let's welcome him. Hallelujah. 